first show. There's people who have been seeing us since the late 90s. There's people who have come to a bunch of shows or whatever. It's kind of become this multi-generational thing. And we have a new member named Matt Skiba who replaced our other guitarist. And there's people who don't really realize that we had a former guitarist <laughs> for, you know, the first 20 years of the band. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's really a testament to... I don't know what it's a testament to, but we're, we're very lucky. Um, I'd like to say it's a testament to my talent. <laughs> um, no, but it's really cool, and we're very yeah. blessed and lucky and so stoked. Well, you, 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 you brought it up, uh, so I, just, I wanted to ask you that, because it's something I went after such a long time with Tom DeLong, you know, one guitar player, uh, and, and, and I guess it was 2005, you broke up, or uh, did you... Did you know you did you know we were gonna get back together in 2005? Did you think that was it? Well, we broke up. Uh, I thought that was the end of play. Yeah. And so then, why? Uh, you know, because you know, in a, in a trio, mm -hmm. um, a whole new co-lead singer and guitar player that really is gonna change things. What made you feel like you know, yeah, this will work. We're gonna take one third of the band and and replace it with somebody else who was also known for another band. Right. Right. So uh, why? Uh, why not uh, get a new name, or, or you know, what made you take that that would work? Well, Matt was a friend of ours from early 2000s. Oh, okay. Uh, he had toured with us. He, Matt and I had actually talked about doing a side project together at some point. And when Tom quit the band the second time, we had these shows booked, and Matt stepped in very graciously and learned a lot of songs very quickly to play these couple shows. And it fits so well and it was so natural that we said, hey, why don't you step in? And Matt's done a really great job of stepping into a very potentially, I don't know, awkward situation and making it his own, but also staying true to the legacy that Tom built with us as well. And I think he's done a really good job of that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so one of the things they, when I, they asked me to, to kind of moderate this discussion. And by the way, I just wanted to say, when, when uh, we were introduced, your introduction was like three times as impressive as <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, the song starts with this, you know, it's a happy guitar riff, kind of a bass line, decorated, and then, you know, you're set up for, you know, it's, it's happy, it's happy uh, party music, and you set up, uh, it was first night, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Friday night, I trick her out, I work, uh, work alone. alone, yeah, to get the feeling <laughs> right, alone, by the way, or not alone, alone, to get the feeling right, which is a hilarious line, mm -hmm. right, I mean, right away, I